We are back now with Janet McCormick from the cafe in Huntington called Let's Eat and the Artisan Cafe out at Heritage Farm in Huntington here today with something that sounds absolutely phenomenal, especially for this time of the year. And we're getting a little taste of it today, a little rain in the forecast, a little overcast. So here's your well, tomato bisque soup. Right. This is the last, you know, crop of the season. Yeah. Um, I, I managed to snag the last ones and they actually still oh. really uh, taste wonderfully yeah. and so they're very tangy. So you roasted and them already? I just roasted them in okay. an oven that's a 400 degree oven at uh, for 20 minutes and it's just enough to blister it you see you don't want to cook it to death. I put a little olive oil on it okay. and I sprinkled it with some garlic powder oh, nice. and so some onion powder and it. you can see the olive oil there and yeah. it's okay to go ahead and include that when we puree Absolutely. this. Absolutely, why not? But uh, I'll tell you what I have in the pot in just a minute so okay. I'm trying you Usually I do this a whole lot faster because I don't care that well, I sling it everywhere, <laughs> but this would be a mess if I did that. Yes, so we're just going to uh, put this in a, a processor, a food processor, and we're going to puree it. And that's really simple. This is a very simple recipe because even though it has a couple of steps, you know, when you stick this on a pan, a cookie right. sheet, and you just throw it in the oven for 20 <laughs> minutes, you can go off like I did. And I checked my email and returned emails. and. Um, mm -hmm. I played. How long do you roast the tomatoes? 20 minutes under 20 minutes, a 400 okay. degree oven. Okay. Yeah, just enough to blister them and kind of get them to release their flavors. So, okay. well, this is a lot of tomatoes here. Yeah, you sure have a lot of them. That's going to yeah. make a lot but of These are fresh. And you know, you can use canned if you'd like, but um, because it's still, a, you know, we're just at the end of the season, we still have them in. They'll be you very tangy and tasty. Yeah, we either. want the real flavor yeah. here. But feel free during the winter to use the canned tomatoes. Is it so, redundant to say bisque soup? Well, is it just bisque? it's bisque, but it's, bisque, it's I, guess, yeah. I think bisque just has the cream in it. That's all it is. So yeah. here we are. We're going to, um, and by the way, I threw a little bit of garlic in there, cloves, just because oh, we wanted to put it. And there like is some thyme in there. And look, I have some fresh basil. Even better. And I'm going to tell you what I have in the soup. So we put this in, really grind it really well because you don't, this is not really a chunky soup. It's not a salsa. We want it oh, to be smell pure. that basil. Yeah. I know. Basil this makes everything amazing. Okay, so you see the beautiful color we have going on here. Mm -hmm. Now, That's what's good. in here? This is the essence of the soup. Even though the tomato is the star, this okay. would be the essence. Right. And so this is just some chicken stock that I actually boiled up before okay. I got here. And the better the, the stock is that you start with, mm -hmm. the better the soup it's is going to be, the richer it's going to be. So <clears throat> I also put a half a teaspoon of oregano. You got to be careful with dried oregano. And I put some thyme. You can see that. Yeah, a little bit of thyme. And I put Float a cup around. of milk in uh, one quart of chicken stock. And now this is the simple part. I have this actually heated. Okay. It was boiling. I almost let it boil over while I was waiting to go on, but I managed to catch it before it in did. goes the tomato. So the tomatoes are going to go in and I would say bring this to a slight boil just to get everything incorporated and okay. then you are done. Um, and if it's not thick enough, you can add some um, cornstarch with a little ah, bit of water okay. or you can actually puree this again and make those tomatoes uh, go real, uh, you know, to to combine with milk. And look at that Not color. the milk, That's but the perfect. cream. Yeah. It's beautiful. Wow. So this is actually a little thinner than I would like, cause, so I would put the cornstarch in it, but I guarantee it's going to have amazing flavor. Oh, because yeah. I started out with a nice chicken broth, but you can use canned, of course. Okay. And I would say use um, just one 28-ounce uh, can of but it. But the stock, uh, don't, uh, don't be afraid to spend a little extra money on the stock is what you're saying. Yes, but if you yeah. make it, it's so quick. Mm -hmm. You know, I had some thighs that I got yeah. from the store, and they were like dollar fifty-nine for uh, four thighs, and they make the hardiest, oh, fattiest, okay. juiciest, amazing uh, broth. Use that. So what do you think? Surprisingly hot. Yeah, well, I told you I almost boiled it over. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. Oh, wow, it's oh, really I, good. I love this. It's great flavor, and it really does. It, it, it makes you feel like, hey, fall is finally starting yeah. to happen. Well, I'll tell you, the tomatoes and how awesome mm. they are and how tangy they are and how fresh they are is going to really lend itself to this soup and make it amazing. And, you know, I think your, kid, your kids would really like this, too, because... Kids generally like tomato soup. Some kids don't, but this is kind of oh. because of the mix of it. You should actually put some croutons in oh, here. Even better. There we go. <laughs> yeah, and then some. Then sometimes I to thicken this up too. I add okay. some um, fresh basil. Okay. I mean, sorry. This is uh, Parmesan cheese. Parmesan, yeah. a little Parmesan. Yeah, so that gives it a nice cheesy flavor as well. And it thickens it up as well too. Yeah, Look. it does. Yeah. So again, if you're having this is a little thinner than I'd like, mm -hmm. and uh, you can either use cornstarch to do it with a little bit of water, or you can thicken it up with some mm -hmm. some Parmesan cheese mm -hmm. or. Um, 
just again take a an emulsifier in there and just totally uh, combine all the ingredients and it'll thicken up too. And, and true to your word, the, cu the croutons mm. themselves, they have a little bit of garlic in oh, them Oh yes, too. that's They're good. That's how you make it a little more mm -hmm. hearty for the winter mm -hmm. and the cold weather. Mm -hmm. This is perfect. It's absolutely perfect. And of course, calorie wise, it's not really too bad. I mean, you have your base that probably contains most of your calories, tomatoes. Well, I tried to lighten it up a little bit with the cream. Uh -huh. I didn't really want to um, over mm -hmm. power this with too much cream because then it is really fattening. <laughs> Janet, you've done it again. Fantastic. Wow. Excellent. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, if you'd like to try this delicious recipe, of course, we'll have it soon up on, uh, on our WSAZ First Look at Four Facebook page, so it'll be up there in just a few minutes. Or is it already there, Melanie? Not yet, but Melanie's working on it right now. She's going to put it in there. So you want to try this at home, definitely. This is excellent, as usual. Thank so you. Thanks, Janet. Thanks for being here. We'll be back.